Hey guys, it's Epic Modder, aka the Bunch of Hacksmith, and in today's video, I'm teaching you guys how to build a working lightsaber, the world's fifth working lightsaber. And to start off, you're gonna take your Kyber crystal. Uh, so it has come to my attention that most of you guys now own Kyber crystals. So over the sixth build, we will not be using Kyber crystals. This is heavily based off Alan Pan's design. So it's a plunger system with valves and everything like that, butane, and basically how it works is a butane um, port in there which pressurizes the fuel chamber, which is all let through by a nozzle and then ignited by a arc lighter in the bottom right there. So yeah, heavily based on Alan Pan's design, I will teach you everything you need to know of how to build a specific lightsaber um, in this video and it can be customized to however you want. You can, you know, connect them, you can add more, um, all that kind of stuff. I've also been thinking about building an online store where I'll sell things like this lightsaber and other products like that. So uh, please like and subscribe to support the channel and I might build the store. Without further ado, let's get right into it. To start off the build, you need a 1 8 to 1 half, two of them, uh, reducers, female to male. You're also going to need one 1 8 needle valve, male to female. A 1 8 male to 1 quarter female uh, adapter, which is meant to hold a uh, one quarter inch sprinkler ho um, hose. You guys don't need to write this down. It's all in the description below. And you put all together like that. So the sprinkler nozzle is a straight stream, but it's on a ball joint. So just keep, try your best to keep it straight. And also don't forget to use pipe tape when you hold this. So next you're gonna take a one eighth uh, push valve for pneumatics and you um, put that into that one, uh, one eighth to one half adapter. You have two of those, but just one more there. And if you need help, uh, tighten it, make sure it's really tight and use a wrench or something like that. So after you're done with that, go take um, a one inch uh, out diameter metal tube and then just mark off the points because uh, with a ruler, because it's let's say it was around uh, like 10 or 11 inches and you want to cut it down. So you want the, um, the energy fuel to be bigger than the emitter because the emitter has no roll, it just looks nice. And you could kind of switch up the parts, but uh, just make sure I'd say the mid a good length for that is maybe three inches and then for the uh, fuel um, Holder maybe five inches because you've around um, uh, Three inches for the um, pipe parts and the no Nozzles and stuff like that and it's a pretty strenuous process. I use a hacksaw. Don't use a hacksaw use something else That's a little bit better suited and you see everything fits in there pretty well like that and after that, you're going to hot glue and use some pipe tape to seal up that one um, butane um, emitter where all the stuff goes in, all the butane goes in. And make sure it's an airtight seal because you don't want any gas leaking out on you. Now that, you have, now that you're done with that, this is the most important part, so you can't skip this part. You take a, a 30 um, millimeter syringe, not milliliter syringe, and you're going to go take the plunger off. But the plunger doesn't fit, so you got to go cut it a bit. But don't cut it too thin so everything falls out make it sure it's a little pretty tight so none of the liquid gets out um they come in packs of five and they're sort of expensive if you don't have a medical license because they might think you're a drug dealer so um just be careful because you don't have a lot of them but anyways so when you're done it should go in pretty well on this side just like that hot glue and pipe tape and put the other side in like that and it's all closed and nice and the next thing you have to do is make the um spark lighter so what you do is take a it's a pretty basic arc lighter you can get. Um, I found a pretty cheap ones on Amazon for like five bucks. So I'll put that in the description below as well. And you see they make a pretty nice arc. I muted the sound just to protect your ears because it sounds pretty annoying. But basically you want to disassemble it. So take out the screw in the bottom and that exposes some bits. You're gonna use some tin snips to cut it up and sort of strip it and you know pull a piece of metal out. It's sort of in strands like, I like an octopus, I don't even know. But you're gonna want to get to a point where you can wrap it around so a pair of pliers and you just um, spaghetti it up. So once you get, um, you'll probably be left with something similar to this. And after that, just fold it all up, uh, take it out, there's a little screw there. I take the screw out and fold it up so it's pretty contained because it goes around maybe uh, three inches when you're all done. You can go contain it like that and save this piece um, for the end. So once you have all the bare bones of the arc lighter, just fold it together so it's pretty compact because it fits pretty well. It's just that little piece right there. And then cover it with a couple pieces of metal uh, just to be safe and make it look a little bit cleaner and also insulate it a bit so you don't shock your hand accidentally. Then I add some two extender wires on the end of it just to uh, make it a little bit longer so it reaches the tip. So basically you want to try to extend 
the wires so they can reach over um, to ignite the stream coming out of the nozzle. And you want to put the emitter piece over that that you cut out. You can make your own custom emitter. It doesn't really matter. It's just for cosmetics, really. And then you put that little piece on that I told you put on before, and there you got it. You have your completed lightsaber. So this is just the base model. I may all thin and look a little techy because that's the way I like it with a thin neck lightsaber, but you can pretty much customize it however you want. This is just the base model. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's a little heavy. It's made out of metal. When you use it, just use common sense to make sure it's all safe. But to make it work, you want to um, undo the valve, put some fuel in, close the valve, put butane in the uh, bottom end. And then when you open the valve again, you're pretty much good to go. And yeah, when you open the valve again, you want to turn it on and you want to press the uh, button and that will ignite your fuel. So instead of just being some transparent liquid, it becomes a fiery transparent liquid. Uh, I got mine to be a nice emerald green. I'll put a little list uh, down below to show you all the different colors and all the different mixture amounts of what you need to make your um, lightsaber whatever color that you want to. Uh, just remember to be safe when you use it, you use common sense and everything like that. So thanks for so much for watching my fifth working lightsaber, burning lightsaber video. Um, if you guys need any help, uh, put them in the comments down below. I will be sure to answer them for you guys. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do subscribe and like, I will most likely open the online store, which I will let you um, buy things such as this. Also other things on my channel and other things that are coming in the future, like Iron Man repulsors, uh, you know, other lightsabers, Mjolnir, and some of that. So please support the channel if you want a version 2, a more deadlier version of this lightsaber. Um, Thanks so much for watching, be safe, and without further ado, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.